Moscow was my next challenge and it's typical that it started not just passing the exams but I had a conversation with David Oyster and he said that he could accept me in his class only under one condition and this condition which he spoke out was the last thing I wanted to hear he said I will accept you in my class only if you will do everything in the way I will tell you and a youngster of 18 years old, searching for one's own path, didn't want to follow any rules. We had so many rules in the Soviet Union, so this was the last thing I wanted to hear from my later teacher. But there was no choice. I wanted to study in this class. I wanted um, to become a good musician. And I said, yes, fine. Pretty soon, at the beginning of the studies, it already turned out that it was a big misunderstanding. Um, David Oistrak heard me somewhere and um, I left an impression that I'm a rebel or um, a kind of... Uh, that I want to turn everything upside down. It was not my intention. And I had to understand that I had a lot to learn in style and rhythm and tempo and God knows what else, uh, to be in good control of my violin playing. So pretty soon we got closer and already um, in the next four months uh, at the conservatory, being close to David Oyster, I understood what, how lucky I am to be enrolled in such a wonderful class with so many great um, instrumentalist around and uh, yes it certainly helped me a lot and I'm grateful for this yes the Moscow Conservatory even they were quite tough